when the moment comes, you're just like in any other day. And um, I'm not surprised at all for by Walker's performance. And all his teammates, and you included, had that confidence. So can you describe that, just you being being teammates for a while, or why did you guys all, no, no matter what happened during the season, come October, this guy's going to do this? I mean, I just said it in the previous question, but um, comes October, it doesn't really matter what happened in the regular season. I mean, that's why everybody's uh, stats in the first at-bat of the postseason, everybody's at 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. And it's just we get to start over, and whatever happened in the regular season doesn't really matter. What happens is what do you do today, and what do you do tomorrow, and the next day, and you just take try to take it one day at a time. And today is the most important day, and you know, Walker seems to, to find a way to do it every year. You, you guys did win 98 regular season games that was more than anybody else. The way the season went, did you feel like the best team in baseball during it, given that there were all these ups and downs, or, or? Uh, not necessarily? The belief was there. You know, we believed in each other, but I, I, I believe we won 98 games and we underachieved, we underperformed in many ways. And um, the fact that we had the most wins in all of baseball is very shocking to us. But like I said, we never stopped believing in each other. We just, we were just very, very hurt throughout the year. And I uh, felt like we, we never had our full team. We still don't. And we don't really care about that. You know, we believe in each other and we have a very deep team and it's, it's been showing. It's not like Freddie's ever been an unpopular player especially in LA but like just what he's done the last three games and especially the PSG with the Frank chance to came in later, like what can I do especially if you guys finish this off for guys legacy in the place um, just based off what he's done the last three games if he, if he I mean we obviously have to find a way to win one more game but we let's say we win one more game at some point I, I, I expect Freddie to never pay for a meal ever again in LA <laughs> Um, just not just because of what he's done the last three days, just because of what he's done for the last month mm -hmm. to be able to put himself in a position where he can just show up and wear cleats and not just not just be on the reserve list. Um, you guys, I mean, we, we've talked about it a lot, but I, I, I really don't think you guys have any idea what he's put himself through to be able to play for us. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's starting to become some, some superhero shit. TK, what's the mindset going on the brink of something pretty special tomorrow night? Mindset is the same as it's been all October. We haven't we haven't accomplished anything, and the mentality going into tomorrow is we'll find a way to win today. We don't we haven't really been thinking about what the score of the series has been throughout these uh, last three rounds, and it's just show up today and find a way to win today because what's happened up to this point doesn't really matter. There's no control over that. What's going to happen tomorrow is not. There's no control of that. You can just control today and just find a win. Find a way to win today. Did this deflect the Walker you saw in 2020? Yeah. I mean, nobody's really surprised about what Walker's been doing in October. Like I said before, we we get to start over when the playoffs start, and I've never doubted for a second that Walker Buehler is going to he can have a 10 during the regular season he's going to come October he's going to he's going to show up and it doesn't surprise us at all is that as good as fastball has looked this year uh probably I mean they have I think he got a lot of swings and misses on it um it's a little different when you're playing in the infield and you're playing in the outfield and like the pitch types and stuff were up there like really high and you know just trying to stay in the moment and not really get distracted but uh i mean he was he was lights out